Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I want to share you how to fix the UE Perl exception access violation error. Yeah, um, I couldn't figure it out. I watched so many videos, I watched so many tutorials and nothing worked. So in case you're here, I think you got the same problem and I know how to fix it. Let's go. Okay, if you see this error, yeah, that's uh, that was me. I posted this yesterday, 13 hours ago, and I think like one hour later, I found out a way how to fix it. Okay, I tried everything. I'm gonna show you. I tried uh, I, I tried reinstalling the game. I tried freaking everything, guys. So I'm gonna show you. You follow my steps. I know this is in German, but you just need to do what I do. Do a right click on Pell World. Uh, then you click this, and then you click search for local data. You open it. Then you get this one, okay? So you click on Pell. You click on content and there you got your packs you're gonna delete everything you're gonna delete the whole packs so you're gonna delete everything you're gonna delete the whole packs okay delete and it's gone i want to show you um then you go back to binaries you go to win 64 and then you delete everything in here everything you're gonna delete everything right so once this is done you go back to your Steam, go back to PAL World, then you click on this properties, you go to install things, and then you, uh, you're you gonna do the, the, how's it called in English, the, I don't know, the detection for, for uh, error data, yeah? And it's gonna re-download everything, and then you got the game good to go. So it's gonna reinstall everything, you have no mod installed, and you're good to go. Alrighty lads, once it's downloaded, you click play, accept, and here we go. Nice. So that did the trick, I'm gonna show you my safe game, so you can be sure that it really works. Um, oh, we can host a multiplayer game, that's okay, I don't wanna have a multiplayer. And I can host a multiplayer game because of my connection, but... Okay, never mind. If you get this uh, error message, then you just gotta wait. <laughs> so it should work fine, but I fucked up my outro, so I redid the whole thing over and over again. So if you get that error message with the multiplayer games, you just restart your computer. <laughs> that that does the trick. I'm gonna show you uh, right in a second, but yeah. Uh, the game's back in its vanilla state, so no mods installed. And always check your mods if they're compatible with the newest version of the game, because mods mostly mess them up if they are not compatible with the newest version, so yeah. Um, and I'm gonna show you in a second that there is no multiplayer error when I restart my computer. Then we accept. Nice. So we're back in the game. Uh, and yeah, you see, uh, the error message is gone. And you can enjoy the game again, even host your multiplayer game and play your multiplayer safe. Easy going. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate a rating and a comment down below. Also subscribe for more stuff, subscribe for more mods tutorial videos, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye, roll the outro.